Even in the darkest times, there are bright lights. Today is one of the brightest lights. A historical and powerful moment in America. Katanji Brown Jackson becoming the first black woman to be confirmed as a Supreme Court justice. The A's are 53, the nays are 47, and this nomination is confirmed. She watched the final vote at the White House, okay. embracing President Biden, who fulfilled a campaign promise to nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court. The vote presided over by America's first black, South Asian, and female vice president. It's a statement about that on our highest court in the land, we want to make sure that there's going to be full representation and the finest and brightest and the best. And that's what happened today. I'm very proud, very proud. Even though the outcome was no surprise, the Senate chamber was packed for the event. The first crowd since the pandemic began two years ago. And down on the floor, the moment noted by one of the three black male senators. I'm the father of a young black girl. I know how much it means for Judge Jackson to have navigated the double jeopardy of racism and sexism to now stand in the glory of this moment. She's going to make her mark on the court for probably decades to come, right? She's 51 years old. We could be looking at four decades uh, of service on the United States Supreme Court. So it's an enormously consequential day. This nomination is confirmed. Yay! Here at the Mathematics, Civics, and Sciences Charter School in Philadelphia, students watched history unfold in front of their eyes. Crazy. There's finally a black woman on the Supreme Court. It's amazing to see someone up here who looks like me and my friends, my family. Outside the classroom at this majority black school, students face a city with sky high rates of gun violence. But moments like this give them hope. 15 year old Kayla Waddington is a sophomore here. It was we, the Commonwealth, who had to prove the defendant Guilty. I woke up super early because I was so excited for Katanji Brown Jackson's um, hearing today. I also want to be a Supreme Court justice someday. Kayla and her schoolmate, 18 year old senior Asia Moore, are members of the school's award winning mock trial debate team. Could you introduce yourself to the court? I've really learned from mock trial how to assert my point articulately with while also being respectful without getting angry and how to speak in a manner where people will actually listen. Judge Jackson's confirmation is proof to these teens that young women of color should set their sights on the top jobs in America. Ms. Jackson is the first person on the Supreme Court that has a history in um, public defense. And I find that part particularly intriguing because I want to be a defense attorney. <laughs> Tanji Brown Jackson also honed her public speaking skills and is a debater at Miami Palmetto Senior High School in the Miami area, a moment she remembered in this 2017 speech at the University of Georgia. I learned how to reason and how to write, and I gained the self-confidence that can sometimes be quite difficult for women and minorities to develop at an early age. Katanji was destined for greatness. She was always an extraordinarily talented person. Steven Rosenthal has been friends with Judge Jackson for 40 years, meeting in seventh grade and then competing on the same debate team in high school. I know firsthand that she worked incredibly hard. She's applied herself and set her goals very high and then remarkably achieved them. I can only hope that my life and career, my love of this country and the Constitution, and my commitment to upholding the rule of law and the sacred principles upon which this great nation was founded will inspire future generations of Americans. Not only is Judge Jackson the first black woman to be nominated and confirmed to the Supreme Court, it's also the first time four women will be on the bench and the first time three justices of color will serve together. She will also be the first public defender to become a Supreme Court justice. That's quite significant. The Supreme Court decides hugely consequential cases involving the rights of criminal defendants. So I do think that's going to change the dynamics in the many criminal cases that the court hears and resolves. She'll be the second working mother to serve on the highest court in the land. Girls, I know it has not been easy. 
as I've tried to navigate the challenges of juggling my career and motherhood. And I fully admit that I did not always get the balance right. But I hope that you've seen that with hard work, determination, and love, it can be done. Judge Jackson meeting one-on-one -on -one with 97 senators and sitting through 19 hours of confirmation hearings. It doesn't matter to me whether the argument is being made by the president of the United States or a death row inmate. What I'm doing is looking at the argument. I'm looking at the facts. Hearings becoming a center stage for the country's current culture wars. Republicans grilling her on her record and accusing her of being soft on crime. You twisted the law and you rewrote it so you could cut the sentence of a drug kingpin. Commit Judge, you gave him scary. three months. My question is, do you regret it or not? Another portion. Senator Ted Cruz sitting by a stack of children's books, an aide holding up blown up passages from books like Anti-Racist Baby. Do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? Senator, I do not believe that any child should be made to feel as though they are racist or though they are not valued or though they are less than, that they are victims, that they are oppressors. Many believe Senator Lindsey Graham might vote for her after he had voted for the 51-year-old to become a D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals judge. That didn't seem likely after his questioning. On a scale of 1 to 10, how faithful would you say you are? terms of religion. Senator, I am reluctant to talk about my faith in this way. I wouldn't hold this confirmation process up as a model of civility. There were a number of members of the committee whose attacks on Judge Jackson were pretty baseless and quite aggressive and repetitive. New Jersey Democratic Senator Cory Booker defending Judge Jackson. You have earned this spot. You are worthy. You are a great American. Just three of today's yes votes coming from Republicans, Senators Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and Mitt Romney. I hope we can get back to a time where we have bipartisan support for qualified Supreme Court nominees because it's important for public confidence mm -hmm. in the court. Having spent uh, time with her personally and reviewing her testimony before Congress, I uh, became convinced that she is in the mainstream. Three Republican votes, again, in a moment in which it's very difficult to ever you know, achieve anything bipartisan in the Senate, I do think that's quite significant. Her impact is already being felt. And here she is achieving the highest possible achievement a lawyer in this country could have. Um, I think every American, if they sit back and just think about that, should be proud. Judge Jackson has opened a lot of doors. People won't think that because there's a, there's a black woman on the Supreme Court now. There's no that you can't do it because you're a black girl, because this is a black woman who did it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.